did you know Lego canceled a Geonosian Arena set? I sure didn't, up until recently at least. I just found this out. Now, apparently Lego, back in 2002, when Attack of the Clones was going to be released, they were planning on making a Geonosian Arena set. I recently just learned this from uh, my friend RickYoda5555 on Instagram, which has been a huge help in finding me some other awesome canceled sets, but this one really stuck out to me. Now, there's a little story here from... Lego Acklay on Eurobricks, and I'll get into a little more history here, but here's what he says. Here are prototype versions of the Acklay and Wreath, which was made in 2002 and later shown for the 2005 Lego Star Wars Weekend at Celebration. Now, now there are these like little celebrations Lego Lands would do or Disney Worlds would do. Uh, basically, you know, this was to celebrate Episode 3 coming out, and they were showcasing some of their rare, unseen Lego Star Wars related items. Now this guy says they decided to, later on to cancel the set because one of the designers believed that it wouldn't sell well enough? Like, like, oh my gosh, this guy's full of crud. Uh, but anyway, these are the only photographs the guy had, he goes on to talk about that, and he even thinks that, like, you know, look at the reek, that has some interesting detail, and it looks like he's missing a tail from what this guy says. I don't know what exactly what he means, but yeah, so first off, we'll look at the Acklay. It's this weird blue thing, and again, these pictures are not the greatest, um, but the Acklay is a entirely blue character, which I remember him being green. I could have sworn he was green. And then we also have the Reek, and oh my gosh, this guy is, this guy is nuts. Uh, first off, he comes with like a printed like dinosaur, I don't know if it's Jurassic World or what's going on here, but he comes with that sort of torso. It's all printed on with red dots and everything. Uh, you know, red, red dots on the side and everything. Then he's standing on a different piece, which for all his feet, so his feet are even larger than the feet that they give him, which I don't think was necessary, but looks great. And then there was also the headpiece, which all these, like, custom horns or whatever, and there's loads of custom printing on there for the eyes, the back of the head, and even the nose. It looks like it has a nose ring. And I, I will say I absolutely love how the mouth has studs for teeth. Like, that has to be one of the coolest innovations when it comes to, you know, like, creating creatures, like studs for teeth, that that looks amazing. Now, I want to know why this was cancelled. Well, first off, obviously, this set is no doubtably epic, and I want to also decrypt why, like, wh wh what would this look like? What would this look like? I'm going to cover that, then why it was cancelled. Now, I think that this set probably would have come with both the Acklay and the Wreath, those are the two monsters. Maybe it would have come with the weird cat monster with the teeth, I don't know. My guess it would probably come with the three poles that Obi-Wan, Padme, and Anakin are stripped to that have the little chains. And my guess would be them fighting it off. There is a very high likelihood that it would maybe include some battle droids or Geonosians. I would not be shocked. Uh, and that's my general guess. I think that would be a good Petronaki Arena set. But what if it was more than that? What if this was like a ultimate like battle type setup where you have like the Petronaki Arena, at least one wall of it. I don't think they do the whole round thing. And then in it, you have like you have an area to maybe sit a few Geonosians. Maybe you have a little area to place Count Dooku and Jango Fett, which would have been cool. You'd have Mace Windu in the set. You could have had loads of battle droids, droidicas, Geonosians, B2 battle droids, everything. I think it would have been really cool, actually. Now, this set could have gone anywhere, I guess, from maybe 60 to 100 bucks. I really, 2002 money, I'm not good with figuring out, you know, what this would have gone for, especially because the only parts of it we saw were the little accolade. I could guarantee for sure this set at least came with Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Padme if they were to do it. Why they canceled it, I know they said they didn't think it would sell well enough, but I don't, I mean, maybe it's 2002, maybe that wasn't the market back then, but I know that it needs to happen now. And I think even if, at least the uh, rhinoceros-looking dude, uh, if that was to come out today, I think that would still be like considered an acceptable build. Not as much the Akalai, but that would be really cool nonetheless. Now, I know the Geonosian Arena has to be one of the most wanted LEGO Star Wars sets, right up there with, say, some of the sets from Episode Nine, like we didn't get Emperor Palpatine's Death Star Destroyers, or I know from the original movies we still want Home One, and I know from the prequels we still want, say, uh, the Providence Destroyer, the Invisible Hand, and we still haven't gotten any of those. So, and on top of that, I think this is a certain must. That was the coolest scene, I think, from Attack of Clones. They just rewatched the movie, and that was one of the coolest scenes, and I think the fact they didn't include it just... It sucks. It sucks. Really, it does. Overall, I want to hear what you guys have to say on this. What do you think they would have done? Do you think if they made it and it was up for resale nowadays, would you have bought it? What would it have looked like? And what would you want to do? Tell me all that and more. Please remember to subscribe. We are so close to 12,000. These videos tend to do particularly well. And yeah, also become a Patreon. That'll help me out a ton. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay awesome. Mm -hmm.